The first thing you want to do is go ahead and get vMix open, get your X keys plugged in. You want to have everything plugged in that can be plugged in. Uh, you don't want to be unplugging and plugging things. You want to make sure everything is show ready, good to go before we start messing around with these shortcuts and activators. Uh, you go up to settings and you want to go down to shortcuts. And these are all the shortcuts I currently have in here right now. I'm actually going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to hit shift and select down here on the bottom. And I'm actually going to remove all of these shortcuts. And the reason that you want to do this is v vMix will ride over them, but I've had some issues with it. I'm not blaming vMix, I'm not blaming X keys, but if you remove all these, then install a template, it seems to work a lot cleaner. Uh, you want to do the same thing with the activators. I'm going to go select on the activators. I'm going to remove all those guys. Yes. This is going to take a second. This will take a second if you got a bunch in there. You know, it may look like it's locked up. This has happened every time I've ever done this. So uh, give it a second. Let it work. Don't just shut down your machine. So it finished clearing out the activators. Um, and we can go back and check. All right, so now we're going to add our shortcuts. So we're going to go to templates. We're going to go to import. And we're going to find our T-bar jog uh, vmix shortcut template we're going to open that guy and we're going to hit apply it's going to say hey it's going to replace all the ones which is fine because we already didn't have anything in there now i've gone in here and tried to the best i can label all these guys so if you ever have a question you can kind of go in here and find out what does what um, i've done my best to label like i said pretty much everything and you'll notice here uh, there's two and then a colon or one then a colon. So one then a number or two then a number. That's super important. That corresponds to the MIDI channels for the keyboards. So one of the one things, even, even if you have a show with these shortcuts or uh, you've run these shortcuts several times, it's always good when the first thing when you open it to go into these MIDI settings and check that these channel mappings are right. So the jog and shuttle controller needs to be on channel two and the T-bar needs to be on channel one. So if that was grayed out, that's gonna cause all kinds of trouble. You wanna make sure that your T-bar is on one and your jog and shuttle is on two. That's how this template is built. All right, so that's done, we're all good there. Let's go ahead and add our activators. We're gonna do those the same way. We're gonna import them. Um, they're on my desktop, in my football folder. There they are, they're a vMix activator. I'm gonna hit open and all of our activators are here. And uh, it shows kind of, these are actually showing the inputs, but yours will probably be blank. But everything's all in there. You can see our notes are corresponding to colon, one colon, everything's good. So we're gonna hit okay. Now that we're in here, I'm just gonna quickly click on my T-bar uh, and just make sure that we're getting cuts here. So our cut button's working, our T-bar, it's transitioning, so, I know that we're good to go.